Now, if you need some extra help, Microsoft has their help feature, which is found in the upper right hand corner. It's that question mark. Go ahead and click on that, or you can see as I hover over it, it's got that pop up window and it's got the shortcut key F1. You can hit the F1 key on the keyboard, or again, click on the question mark. It brings up the same window. I'm going to go ahead and click on the maximize button so I can have that window fill the screen. And then if you're really bored and you got a lot of time on your hands, you can come up here and click on the show table of contents and it has a lot of books here that you can read about Microsoft Word, like formatting. Go ahead and click on the formatting. It opens up and you've got a lot of options here like how about learning how to apply strike through formatting. Click on it. What is strike through? It's basically slashing a line through your text. You know how you see the commercials on television where they say, okay, it's $49.95. They put a slash through it. But wait, now we'll drop it down to 1995. plus we'll throw in a free Frisbee. In any case, that's what it is. You can see it right there. There's ABC and a line through it. So what you want to do first is select the text that you want to format. After you select it, then go on the Home tab to the Font Group and click on the Strike Through button. It'll put a line through whatever you selected, okay? Well, if you don't have time to read through all these books, <laughs> and uh, who can blame you, but you want to be able to make a quick search for a keyword like, Let's say that I want to find out how to print my document. So instead of going through all this, let me go ahead and close out of that by clicking on the X. Come up here, click in the search field, and let's say print. And then come over here, click on the search button. Now when you do that, it's going to search for the uh, contents on your computer because when you install Microsoft Word on your computer, it also adds just a, a few help features, not a lot. So instead of searching on your computer, if you come over here and click on the corresponding drop down arrow for search, you can see that it's searching for Word Help from this computer. How about we do it from Office.com, which has a huger database. So let's do all of Word from Office.com. Of course, you'll have to have internet connection. And there we go. It's more detailed here. Here's printing and print preview, or printing and print preview in Word 2010. Let's go ahead and click on that link. And then down below it says, what do you want to do? Well, I want to print part of a document. Click on that. And it shows you, as we just covered in the previous training video, how you can go ahead and make a selection here to print a selection or print the current page or print all pages. Now, when it comes to following the instructions here, if I go back to my document here, because down at the bottom, for every window I have open, I have a corresponding button that I can click on. This button for that window, this button for that window. I cover all this in my Windows 7 training videos. In any case, if I want to be able to not have to go back and forth to go, okay, let's see, where is this at? And then go back to the document and then try to come back and remember where I was at. You can go ahead and restore this down. And after I restore it down, I want to come over here and you see that push pin? It says right now that it's not on top, but if I push it in, it says it'll keep it on top, on top of this window. So if I click on that window, it stays on top so I can bounce back and forth and read what's in here, make my changes here, and say, okay, where does it say to go to the File tab and then click Print. Let's go to the File tab, click on it, go down to Print, and then what does it say here what to do? And then you can just go ahead and continue reading without having to click back and forth, but have one on top of another and follow the instructions there in the Word Help window. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and unpin it. And then when you click over here, it takes the Word Help window and it goes behind this window here. Or more correctly put, when I click on the button here, it pulls the window forward. It doesn't push that one back, it just pulls the other one forward, okay? Then when I'm done, I can go ahead and click on that to bring it up and close out of it. Or you can just go ahead and right click on that and left click on close window. And if I click on the Home tab, we're back to where we started. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.